Probably know already, but for those of you that do not know, guys, let me tell you, come closer, come closer. Guys, I have a mental crush on Big Brother. I don't know if there's a name for it, but if there's a name, please let me know in the comment section. But guys, I thought I should let you all know that I have a crazy crush on Big Brother's mind because that man. <laughs> That man keeps on amazing me. Ladies and gentlemen, I watched Big Brother dish out new and Paris punishment today. And oh my God, see me falling in love. <laughs> oh my days, guys, it was crazy. See, I've been having a good laugh today. Like, Big Brother just decided to give us another level of entertainment via the punishment he had promised new and Paris since on Sunday yes by virtue of the fact that they had broken the rules of whispering yes so this morning Big Brother finally dished out his punishment to these housemates and guys it was insane Biggie you did this one Chai, it's fine now <laughs> It was insane. So I'm gonna be giving you all the details. And also, I feel like the punishment was kind of a good idea because it sort of provided like a private space for those two young men to give us some juicy tea. You know, things that has been happening in the house. Now it's not like we do not know, we actually do know, but kind of gave us like um, a one-on-one -on -one with Pere. You know, for us to know what Perry has in mind towards the particular situation that he and New discussed. So guys, trust me, you do not want to miss out on this particular gist at all. Now, another thing is about Cross. Ladies and gentlemen, it might seem as though Cross is either stupidly in love with Kimopra or he is seriously, smartly playing the game. Because guys, I watched Cross in action today. Hey, <laughs> see, I literally had to put out a tweet like, ah, what's going on? What is happening with Cross? <laughs> hey, guys, there's a lot to share. So make sure you watch this video to the end. Do not skip out on any part, all right? And also, do not forget, 7 p.m. WAT this evening, this evening, come through. Come through for our live conversation. There's a lot for us to discuss, and I would love to share that conversation with all of you, all right? So, um, yeah, that's it. And special greetings to every single one of you. You are welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Gloria Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Gloria Elijah, and I am the girl with the tea. So please, if you're yet to become a part of this community officially, please do not hesitate to do exactly what you see on your screen. That is how you subscribe, all right? So check your own end, all right? And hit the red subscribe button. Also turn on your post notification bell to always receive a lot of my videos whenever I upload a new one. And uh, for those of you that are still complaining that you do not receive notifications of my uploads, please, um, ignore the the glitch all right it could be a problem from youtube or wherever so um easy peasy just come straight to my youtube channel there's always a video waiting for you i upload videos multiple times daily all right now all of that said let's quickly dive into the juicy tea so in case you've seen pictures or videos flying around on social media of um Pere and Nio sharing a onesie, um, either a purple onesie or a yellow onesie. Just know that it is part of Big Brother's punishment to both of them. Yes. Now, by virtue of the fact that they had broken Biggie's rules of whispering on Saturday night after the party, Biggie had actually addressed their crime. <laughs> or should I say their offense, um, on Sunday, and he had promised them a punishment. So that punishment was meted out 
this morning. So yes, their punishment was for them to wear a onesie and together they were to clean the whole house together. Yes. Now they were to do that until Big Brother says for them to stop. Now, Neil was not really finding it funny. And you know, yeah, it was so cute the way he was sort of trying to rebel against Big Brother, but he knew better than to rebel. So it was all fun and vibes, yes. And I just loved the way, you know, Perry and Neil sort of handled that punishment. They handled it with so much grace, like perfect gentlemen. Although there were times when <laughs> Neil kept on clashing vocally, you know, with um, Marshall. We know how loud Marshall can get. Marshall has been in his element since on Tuesday, that's yesterday, since yesterday, since emerging the head of house on Monday evening. He has been in his element, you know, trying to get everybody's acts together, trying to get the house together, trying to get the house really clean, and more importantly, trying to bring everybody together so that they can better prepare for their wager, which is set to happen on Friday evening. So yes, um, whilst the martial art would be raising his voice, you know, asking Neil sometimes unnecessary questions, Neil would also shout as well. But guys, it was not malicious. It was just all bands. It was all vibes. It was all play. And Freya was just literally laughing all through, like just handling everything with so much grace. But guys, watching both of them move around the house, you know, like this, <laughs> like two Teletubbies. <laughs> Guys, honestly, they just completely reminded me of the Teletubbies. Yeah, yeah, and Pooh. <laughs> It was so funny. And frankly speaking, I must give it to Big Brother though. I must give it to whoever, you know, thinks of all of these punishments. Guys, it was really entertaining to watch both of them. So it even happened at some point that the first onesie, that's the purple one that Big A had given to them, was kind of tight. Yes, their crotch could not really pass through. <laughs> Guys, it was so funny. Now Big Brother had gone ahead to bring another one, a yellow one. This one. But, I mean, this one was almost the same thing. It did not really fit perfectly, but Biggie had insisted that they wore it and they had worn it. But anyways, away from the fun and entertainment of, you know, watching those two tall, handsome, dark, chocolate men, <laughs> you know, rocking their onesies sexily and doing house chores. It was also exciting to listen to their conversation about the triangle that seemed to be brewing between Kimopra and Pere and Cross. Yes. Now, Neo was basically giving Pere all the details of what had happened between um, Cross and Kimopra whilst they had spent time in the Headwells Lounge last week. Now, if you all recall, Doi had actually um, selected um, Neo, Cross, Kimopra, and Mercy. Yes, and Mercy as her BFFs, yes, um, when she emerged the head of house last week. So Neil was just basically telling her everything about how they were behaving like a couple, they would shower together, they would eat together, they were literally doing everything together. And guys, I was kind of expecting a reaction from Perry, but Perry just simply told Neil that, well, it's normal. Like, it's a normal thing, you know, he doesn't really mind if they do whatever they want to do. Take showers together. I mean, they be taking showers and stuff, man. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. not sound like a person trying to pose your mind. And Neil was like, well, it's not like I'm trying to get you jealous, but I just want to let you know that these three people, they've actually gone neck deep. So Pray was even asking, like, have they kissed? And... <laughs> Guys, from Neil's response, I didn't really hear it properly because at some point it felt like they were speaking in low tones, but it was, it, guys, I was quite impressed with the way Perry was handling the whole information, but ultimately he said that he wasn't really bothered. He was going to keep his cool, but then he was really disappointed in Cross because Cross knew that he and Kimopra has a history. As a matter of fact, not really a history, they actually have something. Like there's a level that both of them have placed each other outside the house that Cross was fully aware. Guys, I've done a video giving you guys all of this juicy tea. If you missed out on it, please go ahead and check it out on my channel, all right? But according to Pere, 
After the show, he was going to have a conversation with Cross. But for now, he was just going to go ahead and allow Cross to do whatever he wanted to do. And guys, I felt strongly after listening to what Perez said that Perez was sort of avoiding, you know, losing his friendship with Cross. We all recall how Cross had immediately turned his back on Perez, you know, just literally betrayed Perez, threw Perez under the bus, joined the gang up in the house to be against Perez. We saw how Cross has been playing a very, very dirty game you know, against Perry. I mean, it's been like, oh, it's me against my best friend in this game of winning 120 million naira. Yes, so Perry has lost cross before. Now it's very obvious he does not want that to repeat itself again. So instead of him to fight for a girl, he fancies he would rather allow cross to have his way. And guys, you see, yeah, it really pains me that the way Perry is thinking about this whole thing, Cross is not seeing it that way. As a matter of fact, from conversations that Cross and Kimopra have been having the whole of today, it seems like Cross wants to propose marriage to Kimopra. Yes, guys, I'm not even kidding. I'm not even exaggerating. Because this morning, Kimopra was upset with Cross. According to her, Cross was doing the same thing that she had actually reprimanded him, you know, or cautioned him from doing in the house, which is to be readily available to people, you know, always being at people's beck and call, always assisting people, always helping people to do things in the house, no boundaries whatsoever, you know, that if he is going to be her friend, he needs to exercise control over himself, over the need to always wanting to be helpful to people. And guys, it's true. <laughs> when Kimo Pranini came into the house, she actually complained about it. And Cross has started toughening up, you know, deciding not to assist anybody. You know, like when the ladies would call him, oh, Cross, come and help me to do this and that. Usually, he would oblige their request. But ever since Kimopra cautioned him about it, he had started getting all stuck up. But then, this morning, he had gone ahead to help Alex to peel yam, helps this person to do this and that. And Kimopra was really upset because according to her, still, if he had not wasted time doing all of those things for those people, they would have gone ahead to shower together. So Cross was literally begging her, apologizing, and even telling her that, listen, anytime you see me helping anybody in this house again, just drag me from that place. I came up I was like, why should I do that? He was like, no, I want you to do anything you want to do to me. I'm like, ah, Cross. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry, yeah, not to make it look like Gloria Elijah has a dirty mind, but when Cross said that, the image that came into my mind was a BDSM situation. You know where a dominant is telling the submissive, you know, I don't want you to do this anymore. And the submissive is saying, yes, master, yes, sir. And the submissive is saying, do to me what you want to do to me, do to me whatever I want to do. I say, ah, Cross, <laughs> hey, why are you giving us submissive vibes right now? <laughs> Guys, it was so cringe to hear. Yes, and I was really happy that Kimopra had actually told Cross that mm -mm, I'm not going to do any of that because if I do it, people are going to look at me weirdly. They would think I'm very, very controlling. Because Cross was like, why? Why don't you want to do it? Why can't you do it? And I'm like, Cross, is that the kind of relationship you like? You like the kind of relationship that the girl will be ordering you around? Like, really, bro, really? You know, so she had walked out on that and Cross had, you know, called her um dramatic or like he doesn't really understand her okay she was the one that said he, he was being dramatic and then later on this afternoon um he was really upset with her like he was really mad at her now i don't know what she had said i didn't really hear what he had said but he was upset and he had said that oh she was making him overly careful of you know approaching her that she was giving him a tough time that she was just stressing him out she was just, he was just complaining and the way he was talking to Kimopra, guys, she literally put her face down and it was like a husband that was reprimanding a wife. And she was like, I'm so sorry. I, 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 I'm not supposed to be doing this, but I'm so sorry. And she was explaining herself. And she was really remorseful and she was apologizing. And guys, I was wondering like, hey, what's going on between these two people? What's going on? What is going on? And then she started complaining that, oh, it could be that um, because they changed environment. You know, when they were upstairs, things seemed easier. But now that they are downstairs, you know, she seems a bit more irritated. And he was asking her, like, oh, is it that you don't want me to come close to you anymore? If you do this kind of thing next time, I will have no choice but to step away from you. I don't like it. Da, 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 da. The guy was just ranting. I can remember I was apologizing. And as you see, before this rant that happened, earlier still today, when they were having breakfast together, they were talking about marriage. They were talking about having kids, adoption, childbearing. They were talking about those things. Guys, these are conversations that most of the time, 
couple discuss about yes so i was guys in you know what yeah to just cut the long story short i was just watching these two people today and they were giving proper couple vibes akimopra made a statement to cross you know when he was reprimanding her for upsetting him she had said that listen that on a normal day she won't be talking too much or engaging in fights or quarrels that involved him that the only reason she was doing all of those things is because she's trying to set some sort of bedrock or foundation or some sort of boundary or something so that when she leaves the house she would know that cross is taken care of guys when she made that statement the first thing that came to my mind was could it be that kimopra has actually told cross that she is sort of like a fake housemate more like biggest house guest like she's not a real housemate because why is she saying what she's saying and guys she was speaking in low tones at some point it felt like i actually heard oh i want to be sure that even the mission i came to do i'm actually doing it right guys i don't know if i heard correctly but <sighs> See, at this point, yeah, at this point, whatever it is that Perry and Kimopra had outside the house, I'm not sure it's going to stand the test of time anymore. Because these three people, they're giving us the vibe of, oh, we're getting married immediately after this show. But guys, what do you think? What do you think? Please go ahead. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll see you guys on another video soon. Have an amazing day. Bye.